If you're curious about Ballet Conrad placement and turnout training, keep watching and I'll show you how I used it in my first week of getting back into shape. To follow along on my journey on using Ballet Conrad on myself and my students, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Hi, my name is Patricia Deanna and I'm a dancer and instructor who's been learning to retrain myself and my students using turnout and placement training with Ballet Conrad. Okay, so in my first week of coming back, I was um, definitely ready to get back into shape. I felt kind of gangly and I still do, like I, f I feel like really loose, like I've had a lot of strength in my body. So I was really excited to just be doing something that was on the strength building spectrum. I was told by him to do my core work like floor bar every day. So that's what I did. I did um, three different floor bar exercises and I was just trying to focus on relaxing, engaging my core without sucking in or flexing, really putting pressure into the back of my spine and using that pressure to get the rest of my body to move without engaging my glutes. Uh, and it's really hard to keep your shoulders down when you're focused on your core. So, um, but it was really good because I have some tendencies. I, I'm a person because I've always been on the strength side of fitness. Um, like it's really easy for me to build muscle. I tend to like overpower myself. So it was really nice to use the floor bar to get everything aligned in, as far as my core goes. So with Ballet Conrad training, if you have done it before, you know that it is more optimal to train in socks than it is ballet slippers. So I, you know, I like to wear funny color socks and that was fun and easy to deal with. You know, I already have a ballet bar. I will leave a link to the Amazon store that I where I got my ballet bar before in case anybody's interested in the type of bar that I use, that's fine. Um, also, I will leave a link to Ballet Conrad's website so that you guys, if you're interested in his material, go get it. It's, I have like been loving all the different classes and everything that I've been learning so far, obviously, which is why I'm using it to show you guys. With the exercises every day, um, once I was finished with my floor bar, I went on to start in second position with my first couple of plies. And all I'm focusing on in the first week is just plies. So I would start my second position by relaxing first and then adding in the five points of placement. So once I get my five points of placement going, and by the way, for me, the first week, I did not feel my lats at all, my, my back muscles, I was like, okay, let me, you know, I know it's not priority. I know I will fill them eventually because that's just how strength training goes. So I will concentrate on the four that I can do. So keeping the shoulders pressed down, glutes, core, leg, butt, of course. And, you know, I get all of those turned on and then I start my plies. Now, I'm starting my plies by initiating it with my turnout muscles. And that was surprisingly intense because I forgot how much strength it takes to like go down into a plie and then to maintain that alignment as you're coming up. Um, comment below if you've done one of Ballet Conrad's plies before because it is not like a plie you've ever done in any other technique. It's, it is very involved. <laughs> to say the least it's it feels great but it's like really intense so i was just um really focused on keeping the alignment everything in place everything engaged and it's funny you can feel yourself micro releasing as soon as you like look down or anything so it was very challenging for me to like really focus on just core butt legs and going it was it was it was tough but as the week progressed it became easier and easier 
to feel my turnout muscles like pushing myself into the plie. So it was, it did get better, but the first couple of days were were uh, a struggle because <laughs> I did not feel the muscles, which is why I'm so glad I only decided to do plies and second, plies and first, plies and second, plies and first, um, just so that I could at least feel those muscles going back. Once um, I'm done with the second position, then um, I go into first position. Now, first position is a struggle because it's a closed position and um, it's a little bit harder for me to get set up there, so it takes me about a minute to really set my body up. The second position is a little bit easier, but as soon as I go to first position, it's like I feel like I'm more on my right leg, and then you know the left leg wasn't kicking in, and then the left knee doesn't want to straighten, so I have like all these issues going on. Meanwhile, I'm still trying to like uh, keep the shoulders down while well, you have like. 50 things going on down here you're trying to put together. But I think it was really important that I tried not to um, be perfect. I think it's, especially in something as complicated as this type of training, you have to just say, okay, I'm just gonna do the best that I can. It's more important to be as precise as I can with the information that I have than to try to be perfect and then barely do anything. So. It, it took a minute to get myself going in first position, but once I did, I was like, okay, I got it. As long as you give yourself time, it was fine. And since I do have hypermobility, um, hyperextension in my legs, uh, I do have to stand in that wide first position that uh, you notice that his wife and his son and Missy Copeland, they all have to stand in that um, open first position or whatever you want to call it. but. Oh, it makes a huge difference. You can actually feel everything straightening and strengthening versus just standing there with loose knees or you can't really do anything. <laughs> You're just hoping you get some strength going. Um, also, putting the weight in my heels as opposed to the balls of my feet, um, that felt more secure for me because then I could control my, I had more control over my hips, especially on the um, ascending up from a plie. I was like, oh, okay, I can see how this works in a jump or a turn. So I, it was nice to see like the light bulbs going off like, oh, 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 okay. This is, this is what it's supposed to feel like. So that was nice. Um, after I would do that and you know this first week I'm not going crazy it took me about 15 to 20 minutes just to do the plies um, a few times like between two to four I think I did five sets one day but um, between two and four sets of uh, first and second plies um, then I would do about 10 to 15 minutes of stretching and these are just some really basic stretches that I would do and then my husband, of course, is kind enough to do my body work. So I was really, in the first week, it's just been super chill, like nothing too crazy, really just rediscovering what it means to um, be back in a workout situation where I'm building strength again. Yeah, overall, I would say this first week was pretty easy, pretty standard. I went more so soft on myself <laughs> but it was really more so so that i could um really feel what it was like because it's been a while since like i said i've done anything any physical training consistently for a while so i wanted to make sure that i was setting myself up giving myself the best chance at having a good foundation to really endure this turnout training so if you have made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and of course share if you feel so inclined to do so. I will see you next week with another video updating you on how I'm doing with Ballet Conrad's placement training. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.